Yes, good morning. This is Andrew from My Investor's Place. It's the weekend, and the $700 billion plus bailout has gone through. We've been chatting about this on MyInvestorsPlace.com, and we've had all different types of ideas. And you might see something funny on my head. It might be, it looks like an arrow. So that's what we're buying with some of this $700 billion plus uh, bailout. Plus the fact that's even very interesting too, is that the market even was up 300 points yesterday and ended up down 150 something. So all of this uh, $700 billion plus, $400 billion plus bailout, really, what does that leave it for us? I mean, I don't know how many of you realize what some of this money was used for. Uh, one of our members on My Investor's Place posted on a forum or a chat that some of this money is for special interest groups. It's for arrows, it's for rum, it's for car track racing, racing track, something like that. It's for TV and movie producers. And I don't get it. And you know what? I don't think you get it. Because the problem is, oh, there's one more one, actually. Wool producers. So now the joke was, are we being fleeced as the taxpayer? I mean, it's absolutely an insult to anyone's intelligence of what's happening that the biggest tax bill ever, excuse me, tax bill, Freudian slip, the biggest deficit-causing bill was pushed through and rushed like cramming for a test at night. And, you know, the question is, if you do the math on it, 300-something million people, $1 trillion plus, that means every man, woman, and child now is obligated to pay $37,000 plus the interest on it. So I had my daughter at work with me today. She came to help me. Here she is. You can see her a little bit. And I have a question I want to ask you. Do you want to pay $37,000 of your money to pay for some people in Washington that want to buy some arrows and some wool and some rum? How come you don't have that much money? So what are you going to do with your money? Do you want to help bail out the uh, this economy? You don't want to help bail out? I don't think I want to pay $37,000 either. I have a question I want to pose to all of you, and these are some of the questions that the people on My Investor's Place have been asking. You know, how are we going to pay for our medicine? Some of the older people were asking. How are we going to keep our homes? How are we going to continue to send our children to university? I mean, the American people, we the American people, we're in a crisis of confidence. How can we trust Congress when they put their interest before ours? Everything is self-interest. You know, it's, there's no words to say what all this really is about. You know, what is the future of our country? What is the future of our education system? What is the future of our youth? I mean, the saddest thing is really, what can we do? What choices do we have? What are our, what are your, what are our options? Let's talk about it. Come to MyInvestorsPlace.com. Talk about it. I want to hear your thoughts. Maybe you know something that I don't know. But it's pretty sad where we're at. This is Andrew from MyInvestorsPlace.com. Come and join us.